LPS Honey and today I'm going to be showing you my Great Dane collection. So it's been quite a while since I did a collection video and I am very sorry about that. I kind of just forgot about the whole collection series I was doing and Great Danes were probably the last one of the popular pets that I forgot to do. So I did get a lot of requests to do it so I won't put a specific name on the screen but thank you to everyone who requested it. And if you haven't seen any of my collection videos before, pretty much in every video I'll ask you guys to suggest some more pets, um, a specific breed or type of pet you want to see me do. Um, I am going to be doing my G4, 5 and 6 pets eventually because I did get a request to do them and all of my mystery and prototype pets. So those will be the next ones I'm going to be doing in my collection series but if you have any that you would like to see like seals or lions or little piggies um, just let me know. Also, yes, these little guys in the background are for a future video, but I just thought they looked so cute as a little backdrop. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys all my Great Danes and in the order in which I got them. So the first Great Dane I ever got might come as a surprise because it's actually a Great Dane that doesn't have a magnet and it's one of the last G2 Great Danes they ever made. So here he is. He came ah, in a two-pack with a little like stork bird who had fuzzy hair and I remember seeing this in store years ago and it was actually around the time I started watching LPS videos and I was so excited to see him because I had just gotten into LPS popular and of course like most little girls who first saw that series I wanted to get pets like the ones that were used in the videos, so like Great Danes, Dash Hounds, all that kind of stuff. And I actually never had any popular pets growing up. I had one collie and that was pretty much it. So when I saw this in store, and I think it was $10 for the two pets, I was so excited. I begged my mum and dad and they let me buy it and I was so happy and I've treasured him ever since. But I actually got a double of this little guy. So you may have seen me open this one in a video. Um, I got contacted by an eBay store and they asked me to review some of their pets. So I was like, okay. And um, they didn't know I already had this great day and so they just sent it to me randomly. So yeah, now I have two, two little twin boys. Um, so yeah, I'm probably eventually going to trade this little guy or maybe sell him. Not right now though, but they look so cute together and I do really love him. It's a very unique color in my opinion. Like it's pink, but it's not a super bright pink. I don't know, I just love how they look. So yeah, that was my first Great Dane and then I kind of got this one recently but I thought I'd put them together because it's pretty much the same pet. Now the next Great Dane I think was this one, I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, after that pink one it kind of got a little blurry <laughs> which ones came next but I think it was this one. I actually picked this up um, on Gumtree which I guess is Australia's version of maybe Craigslist? I don't know. But yeah, um, pretty much it's like, kind of like eBay, you list stuff but you go and pick it up instead of getting someone to post it to you. And yeah, um, this girl was selling a bunch of her pets and it was like $10 for all the pets. So he was in there along with a short hair cat and like a bird, a butterfly, a dragonfly, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, he's got a pretty simple kind of realistic Great Dane design but I really love his eyes and he was actually in really good condition when I got him because the other pets that came with him all had like teeth marks from an animal on them like a dog but this guy thankfully was in really good condition ah please focus so yeah I was really happy to get him so this was my second ever Great Dane my third Great Dane is this one right here, probably one of the most popular Great Dane designs. I really do love him. Any pet that has two different colored eyes, I absolutely love. And I was honestly so excited when I got him because I was just browsing through eBay one day and I saw him from a seller in the UK. It was $1 postage and he only cost me $7 and I could not believe it. I bought him like instantly. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get him that cheap ever again. And yeah, I was just so excited to get him. Um, so yeah, I, I got him years and years ago. So 
yeah, he's quite a little old guy now, but he looks so cute. And I was so happy that the seller kept him in really good condition because he just looks gorgeous. But yeah, I think his eyes are one of his best features and I love the little bone on his chest. Um, but uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys will be like, that's Tom Dawson from LP is Popular, and that's fine. Um, but to me, this is Jackson from my LPS Echo series, which uh, a little selfless promotion right here. If you haven't seen um, some of the Echo videos I've been putting out, I'll leave a link up there. Um, the first episode isn't officially out, but I have been doing character introduction videos. So I've done one for Jackson, one for Riley, and the one for Sam will be coming soon and once Sam's introduction video goes up then I will start releasing the actual episodes which honestly I love my series uh, LBS Love Hurts but LBS Echo is definitely my favorite uh, storyline I guess so I, I can't wait to show you guys Jackson's true character because I love him to bits. Oh, and of course, I can't forget to show you guys the uh, fake <laughs> short hair cat version of him. It's cute, but you really cannot compare it to the Great Day and just his glossy eyes and his adorable little face. You're cute, but sorry, he is gorgeous. So next up is this fuzzy little guy, and as much as I love him, there is a little bit of a sad story behind him. So I actually cannot remember where I got him from. I think I got it in like a bulk lot from eBay or something like that. Um, and when he arrived, he had a bit of like fuzz missing there on his tail and like a little bit on... Ooh! Please focus a little bit on him there. But other than that, he was in really good condition, especially for a fuzzy pet, because whenever you try and buy fuzzy pets on eBay, they're like in the worst condition. But he was really good condition, and his eyes are probably my favorite Great Dane eyes. I just love the color and the little diamonds. But the reason it's a sad story is because one day I was trying to put him in a little outfit for a video, and his head fell off like it completely snapped. I went to turn his head because uh, these fuzzy pets don't have bubble heads you can just turn them so I went to turn it like this and his head just went whoop. I was like oh my god what the heck um, but I ended up uh, super gluing it back on. It's a little crooked but if you just stand him up like that honestly you wouldn't even be able to tell. So unfortunately, I never got to use this little guy in a video. I might one day use him in a video, but it's just kind of hard because I can't move his head. So he's just like this all the time if I try and talk. But I love him and I don't want to get rid of him because, like I said, if I try and buy him again online, the fur is always messed up and I love him. He is super cute and I'm so happy to have him. Broken head or not, I think he is adorable. By the way, do you guys like fuzzy pets? I know a lot of people actually remove all the fuzziness and they look really cute, but I think it's really unique to have fuzzy pets. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you like fuzzy pets or if you don't like them, do you like remove the fuzz and then you like it? I don't know, I'm just kind of interested in your guys' opinion. So in previous collection videos, I haven't shown any G4 and up pets, mainly because I've been leaving it till I do a G4 collection, but because that's all the G2 Great Danes I own, I thought I would put my G4 and G5 slash G6 Great Dane in this video. Um, so yeah, here's my little G4 <laughs> Great Dane. I don't know about you guys, but this dog reminds me so much of Scooby-Doo. I really want to get a second one so I can customize it to look like Scooby-Doo because I loved watching Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, here he is. I do like his colors, but he is one of the pets where you can take his head off, so I don't like that. And I don't like that he has a hole there, one in his head and one in his ear. <laughs> but besides that, I think it is a very cute design. It's definitely not my favorite, but, you know, it does look like a great day, and like with the droopy face and everything like that. But yeah, I found this one in store, like, one or two years ago, probably two years ago, actually. Yeah, so there he is. And my last Great Dane is this little guy, and I believe this is the most recent Great Dane mold that Hasbro has made. And yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but my voice is kind of disappearing. But I do like him. I just wish he had kind of like more defined eyes. It's kind of just smooth. It looks a little weird. 
but I do really like it and I'm glad that they changed it to this design rather than the G4 one. Um, but here is a little <laughs> comparison. So yeah, it's kind of like, it kind of looks like a young version of a G2 Great Dane. I don't know. But yeah, there he is. This um, is my most recent Great Dane because I got him uh, in December of last year while I was in Singapore. So yeah, I was so happy to find him because you cannot get him here in Australia. But I do like his colours and it's good that Hasbro is finally kind of listening to the LBS community. But I hope they make more because I do love him. So guys, that is all my Great Danes. It's probably my smallest collection of like the popular pets. And I do hope I can get more in the future. I really want to get these ones on screen. I think they're all adorable. And of course the mystery one, oh my gosh, I would collapse on the floor and freak out if I got that one. Um, but yeah, I love all the ones I have and I'm very thankful and grateful to have them. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any specific types of LPS you'd like me to see... Whoa, what did I just say? If you have any specific LPS designs you would like to see me do a video on, does that make more sense? I don't know. But yeah, if you want to see me do a video on a specific type of pet, please let me know in the comments down below and I will add it to the list of pets I need to do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. It was more kind of relaxed and chilled, kind of because it's a rainy day and I just want to chill out. Um, but yeah, like always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys!